It is April 7th and welcome to my one and only grocery haul for the month of April. Welcome to Maui. This is our trip, this is our condo, and we did hit up the Costco. This was $320. Here's what I'll say about the Costco uh, in Maui. Number one, it's very, very busy. Number two, the prices were very similar in a lot of areas. And number three, the prices were a little higher in some areas. Let me show you what I picked up from Costco. We're really in the market for breakfasts and lunches because um, dinners, I was planning on eating out a little bit. So milk, five something a gallon. We got the HBO cereal, honey roasted. I believe this was about eight doll hairs. Because we don't have a lot of uh, cooking stuff, like I don't even know that I have salt and pepper in here. That's not something I wanna buy at Costco for this. I did get a whole container of oatmeal as well. I did get eggs. This was the cheapest option. Don't worry, we like eggs. Um, there's a Safeway down the street, so I might just go get a small little salt and pepper if I can't find one. Uh, Cause we will, we will blow through that in just a couple of days. We also got bagels. Didn't buy any cream cheese cause the Costco cream cheese is like 10 million pounds, right? So I have um, a cinnamon raisin and a plain bagel. Moving on to lunches and snacks. We got sandwich stuff, so I got some ciabatta rolls because these are awesome. So there's six of us, so this is like two days of sandwiches, and maybe if we use the plain bagels, that's three days of sandwiches. We did get some artichoke and jalapeno dip with some crackers. Dave tasted these in the store. They're having samples. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. We did get some special Hawaiian treats. I'll show you those last. Uh, a few salad kits. These are so good when you're traveling, just for a, like a quick freshness, so. Uh, queso crunch salad kit here, and then the green goddess chops kit. There's two right here. Oh, and then the lunch stuff. I have a black forest ham, cheese, pepper jack, and Colby. Nope, marbled jack. This is gonna be like Colby jack, right? Box of apples. We're getting like actual pineapples tomorrow. Grapes, because Dave loves the grapes. Colby bag of cuties. These are so easy to like pack for hiking and stuff. Like these two, super easy. Which was the name of the game. We did get some Kerrygold butter for cooking. Did I say string cheese? String cheese. The pure organic fruit bars. These are a splurge, but awesome and also pack really well. Fruit snacks, because who doesn't love that? Whole thing of fig bars. Ditto on the packing nicely and working well for hiking. Mayo for the sandwiches. Guava jelly. What are the odds I can put this in a in a checked bag and bring it home without it breaking. This is glass. Not great. I saw that dude chuck my checked bag on that. Did you see him? He took that bag and did one of those hook. He was not gentle. That's what I'm saying. And when in Hawaii, <laughs> we got the Island Pack Hawaiian kettle style potato chips because why not? I did get one frozen meal for tonight. At home, it's like 10 p.m. even though it's not here because of the time change. Everyone's exhausted. We've been traveling literally all day. So I just got this for like a super, super easy dinner for tonight. And then the fun Hawaiian snacks. Look at all these. Oh no. Got a ton of Island Princess stuff. Toffee coated macadamia nuts covered in milk chocolate. <laughs> Honey roasted macadamia nuts. It's all about the macadamia nuts. Chocolate covered pineapple, macadamia, popcorn, crunch 100 percent hawaiian grown a really small pile of food <laughs> it's like vacation time and then uh if we go buy some fruit stands and pick up some other pineapples i'll show those to you as well that's my haul i'm gonna put it away and what do people say maloha Mil milano milano no mahalo mahalo coconut and passion fruit Ice, I think it's vegan ice cream. Oh, vegan ice cream. Coconut milk and everything. What'd you try first? Coconut. It's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's all my dreams have come true. Okay, for tonight's dinner, we spent five hours at the beach. A few of us are a little crispy. And I don't know if you knew this, but taking four children, including three teenage boys, um, to a restaurant is chaotic. So tonight we decided to hit up the food trucks and purchased an assortment brought home to the condo to eat while we watch a movie. So is it poke, poke bowls? Pokey, pokey bowls? That doesn't sound right. Lychee drink, because I saw it there and I was like, what the heck is that? We have to try it. We got um, drunken noodles with chicken, spicy, and a spicy chicken lemongrass banh mi sandwich. What's the movie for tonight, guys? 
Princess Bride. Oh, <gasps> seriously? Oh. <gasps> The yeah. Picture of the Princess Bride. I let the boys be in charge of picking the movie. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Great movie choice. Of course, because it is a vacation, we did eat out a few times, which comes out of our travel budget. We had these amazing bao buns, these steam buns. Oh my gosh, they were magic. And I love trying different drinks that are locally done ginger beers in particular. So when I saw this Maui local ginger beer, I had to try it. It was really, really good, not too spicy. We got an assortment of items at this restaurant. I got the fish curry. Oh my gosh. Like I have no words, you guys. It was amazing. A couple of the boys got some buttermilk chicken sandwiches, which were bomb. And we finished off with their award-winning pineapple upside down cake. Why is this so amazing? Nothing. <laughs> Welcome to the end of the week. This is what we have left over. 12 eggs, some sliced cheese, a little bit of bread, jelly, grapes, and cuties. So for the last night of dinner, I'm doing <laughs> cheese omelets with guava jelly toast and fruit on the side because I still have butter also. I got it out and put it in a bowl right there. So we're gonna have highly buttered omelets. And because I have 12, I can do a two egg omelet for each person. So we're gonna clear out the rest of this and we won't have wasted anything. And then tomorrow for breakfast, right before we leave, we have a little bit of milk and a little bit of cereal. We're just gonna finish this up. And hey, I got news for you. What? You only have 10. Oh, I didn't math that. <laughs> I have 10 eggs. Why did, why did I do 12? Who counts these days? I mean, what? Counting is so 2019. Dinner from random crap. We just got back from vacation and mom ordered this box so we had food to eat because things rot when you are out of the house for a week. Let's go! And this is gonna be embarrassing because I don't know what half of these are. Lettuce right here. We got some potatoes. Green grapes are the best grapes, and you can't say otherwise. No clue what this thing is. Uh, oh, it's a squash. This doesn't look like a squash at all. Pink lady apples. There are so many weird kind of apple names. Uh, I don't know. Wonderful, we got some apples. Some onion right here. We got some lettuce and cabbage. Is this? Lettuce. It's probably also cabbage. I don't know. No clue what these things are, but we got them. Zucchini, some limes. We got whatever that is, and some celery. Didn't Andrew do a great job showing you guys the Misfits Market box? So I spent fifty-eight dollars. Well, I would have spent fifty-eight dollars. I had some credits, so I actually didn't pay anything for the Misfit Markets box but it would have been $58, but let's add it in anyway to the total. So I had $320 in Hawaii plus 58. So that puts me at $378 for the month of April. I'm sorry about the noise. The dog is drinking water very loudly. I did not spend any money on household items and I didn't spend any money on business of stuff. So we'll just leave it at $378 for the month of April. And I do wanna finish out the month of April with eating what we already have in the house. I had some frozen like chicken nuggets from January or February or something like that. So I pulled those out, had some frozen vegetables, pulled those out. I'll show you a few other things. Haven't been in my fridge in a long time, have you? Uh, the lighting though, wow. I had these in the freezer, so I got these out and made pizzas. I had a ham in the freezer, I got that out last night. Here's the leftover ham. Like hams make so much food. So I have this whole huge entire thing that I can use for ham tetrazzini, ham and eggs, whatever. And then here's a whole bunch more ham with the bone. And I'm going to make red beans and rice with this one. I'm probably gonna make that tomorrow. If you've watched my videos and freezer clean out and stuff like that, you know I have a ton of protein. I have chicken and beef and beef roast and beef steak and ground beef and all kinds of things. I even have some fish in the outside, like the garage freezer. I am just planning on pulling things out in the morning. I can be like, oh, I'm gonna pull out these scallops 
and I'm gonna do scallops with baked rice and a frozen vegetable that I have or like a misfit market, I don't know, salad. I still have some frozen bread from the last time I went to the bread outlet and breakfast, totally easy. I have a ton of granola, oatmeal. What else do you really need? Protein powder, we're set. So I'm not going to the store until May. So thank you for joining me on today's what I spent in a month on groceries here in 2023. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your April. I'll see you next time. Thanks for staying for the after show. So I have two things to tell you. Number one is if you want to try out Misfits Market, uh, I do have a referral code. I think it's $10 or $20. I'll leave it in the description box if you want to go try them out. I've always had good food show up. Like it's never been gross. It's never been rotten. Number two is, do you remember the last story I told about how I failed as a parent? Well, I have another one. Um, this also involves my first kid, but it happened a few years ago. So this was the first, the first moment that I was like, oh my gosh, we live in a different time. So when I was a kid, my dad would give me money at the gas station and be like, run inside and put 20 bucks on pump five, right? So I would go do that and I would get the change and I would come back and it was all good and dandy. Well, I've, I feel like we really do live in a cashless society now. I remember when the debit card was created. Do you guys remember that? If you remember that, give me one of these in the comments. If you don't remember that, you're young enough to be my children. So when my oldest child started driving, I was like, okay, now that you're utilizing this car, it's our RAV4, uh, you're gonna be responsible for putting gas in the tank. Uh, I was like, I'll take care of oil changes and like wiper blades and, and tires and, and all of that, but you need to put gas in the car because you're the one utilizing the gas to get around. The day comes while for my 16 year old daughter to put gas in the car. So she goes to the gas station and I get a phone call and she says, hey mom, uh, how do you put gas in the car? Where I was, kind of shown by like, take this money, go inside, pay the bill, put put the thing in, hold it the whole time because my parents didn't want to hold the, the pumpy thing, right? Now you have that little clicker guy. You don't have to hold anything and you just pay right there. Like it's so much easier for me to get out of the car, go bloop with the card, click the thing, sit back in my car, wait for it to be done, plop it back and drive away. That I had never shown my kids how to put gas in the car. And in that moment, I realized two things. Number one, that the world that we live in had changed since I was a teenager. And number two, I had royally failed my children. So never fear my friends. When my second child started doing driver's ed, I was like, here's how you put gas in the car. And I taught it to them from day one. I made them in charge of it. I made them in charge of making the appointment for the oil change, driving, doing it, paying for it, driving home. I don't take care of that anymore ever because they need these life skills. So my question for you today is, if you have kids that are about to start driver's ed, do they know how to put gas in the car and pay for it?